with Pucky Jacks in the city and go here on the big blind. Let's actually just go. We flopped a set on a draw we board. There's a flash draw possibility. Straight possibility as well. So I'm gonna call. Check once again. If he bets, we we uh, race a little bit because we are trying to extract value from Ace King. Just got there. Ace King was in his range as well. So what do we go for? Check call. How do we bet for the value? I think it's the same thing. Like if I bet for the value, I will bet like two something, two hundred fifty. If he bets for value with Ace King, yeah, let's check and call if he bets. And we give him a chance to bluff here as well. But if it hap if it happens for him to have Ace King, we save some money because if we bet, we he will re raise with Ace King. Yeah, maybe a little bit tight, but I'ma just call. Because I don't think that if I race, I'm getting called from anything. And he might have Ace King. And he does have Ace King. Don't ask me how I knew he got Ace King, but I'm just magician. Rekrod says, man, your reads, you saw that, right? Like if I bet and he re-raises, I will have to call with my Jack. If I bet he calls, we get the same price. If I check, he bets, he might be bluffing sometimes. And at the same time, we're getting our value. And if it happens for him to have Ace King, we call and we lose less. If it makes sense. I think it does. Ace King under the gun is a race. Uh, what? 52 big blind shaft. Guys, I'm, I'm honestly falling. I honestly am like... I don't. I have so much value. I, I can do so much damage with 52 big blinds that I'm willing to fold Ace King preflop. I don't even care. Like if he has queens, okay, we're flipping. If he have jacks, he, we're flipping. He might have aces, kings. We're freaking fucked up. I'm folding. I don't. I don't even care. I don't even care. I can do so much stuff with 52 big blinds. I don't want to just go all in with them. The old me would be like, of course I call, it's it's $2 tournament, I have Ace King. But at the same time, like even if we are against, I don't know, Ace Queen, we can still freaking lose. We are against a pocket pair, we freaking flipping for 50 big blinds in a spot where we might even be dominated. Nah, man. Oh, now move all in, man. Ace is totally different story. I'm willing to risk as many big blinds as you as you want i'm just gonna call induce a shot from another guy maybe this guy decides to go all in yep oh you have aces as well let's split it no problem bro i will split with you okay our main intention is to build this pot and at the same time try to not get it too multi-way so I'm gonna raise really big. I'm gonna do 600 to kind of make them fold all the hands that might hit like two pairs or something like that, you know. Just serious end. I want to just keep the serious end in. Okay, we are heads up against this guy. I'm gonna go with something around 900. Kind of give him a message like go all in or kind of just you know extract value and at the same time give him a great chance to reshop okay we're going for it we are against ace jack that's great and we get him knock him out ace king ace four that's great let me hold no split it's a split that feeling when you say no split and it's a split, <laughs> that sucks. This guy limped, I 3x'd, these two called, he checked, he checked, 
I see bet. I think I'm gonna take this down right here, right now. Button called and the guy that limped call as well. Still think I'm betting though. Get called by Ace 10, Ace Jack. Hope they don't have two pairs like A7, A9. That would suck. A set is probably raising now, or it should. Wow. This guy limped before the flop. Might have a pocket nines, they just hit a set. Might have ace nine, ace seven. Maybe even got tricky with ace king. There is still this guy behind us. This is a dumb spot. No shit, we just freaking what? What kind of fault was that, Carlencho? How, how the hell you knew? We're on the big blind with six eight suited. This guy opened button called. I'm gonna call as well. See the flop. It's a nice flop. We have a gut shot plus a gut shot straight flush draw plus a normal flush draw plus a normal straight draw. Probably gonna be all in in this end, ladies and gentlemen. Question is when? Now? Now? Yeah, probably now because if we get our flush, he might be scared, scared to go with just the queen. So I'm just gonna do it now and at the same time, he might fold all the hands that beat us at the moment, sometimes as well. And we win a nice spot with just a draw. Got aces in one of the side sit angles, so we're gonna look at this for a while. Queen King 3, actually a great flop for our hand. You don't have two pairs or a set, right? You have two pairs. Let me get. Another two pair for me. God damn. Lavax89 says, what do you think about other streamers like Jamie Staples or Tonka, etc? To be honest, I respect every single guy that streams poker because a lot of people uh, don't realize how hard it is uh, to be to... The streaming itself is hard. Streaming and trying to make uh, some some great decisions and at the same time risk money and at the same time make money is even harder imagine that okay you play poker you you see your hands you see your mistakes and only one to judge you is you or your coach for us not not for me that much i don't have that many people Freaking Jamie Staples has like ten, tens of thousands of people who judge his game every day. Freaking people go off. Like if you go freaking watch his comments under his YouTube. Like that guy has to be, he has to have a mindset. It's just like he, he has to be really strong. Like he gets so much hate for no reason. Like imagine like you make a mistake, you play poker, you make a mistake, okay? The only one that judge you is probably you if you don't have any coach or I don't know, you know, or, or your friends will not, you know, hate on you. But freaking we make a mistake and then we don't, uh, we can't hide the mistake because everybody see it. And at the same time, if they post on YouTube, then they make this decision to show their own mistakes to the world. You know how freaking brave you gotta be to do that? 
Like that's why I, I, I will always respect anyone that streams as long as they don't disrespect me for no reason and that didn't happen so far but I don't really have time to watch their streams and highlights now all I do is I just I'm subscribed to them on YouTube so when, when I see they post something I just open it I, I give them a like I just comment something something positive and then I leave that's all I do I don't really watch it I just leave a like I post positive comment because I know that whatever happens they are they are brave for even doing this and that they are winners so yeah that's my that's my opinion on other streamers and milf cz you know what's funny about what you wrote you you said i love your positive mindset it's great and so inspirational can you imagine that there are people who think i'm a dig hat <laughs> can you imagine that it really shows that you know if, if for example if milf cz was a negative person and was a hater you wouldn't even wrote stuff like that and and uh, most of all it shows that he has laugh for himself first so it it allows him to give love to others haters are freaking unhappy with themselves okay that's something to think about every time you see hater he's freaking unhappy with himself that's why he hates on others because that's what's coming within him and it goes out and that's the truth lavax89 says i would like i would love if streamers show more of their bad plays because we can learn so much more out of this tonka is just funny guy who sucked suck out other people in bounty attorneys sure he can play poker and knows much about the game but i think he do everything with a funny mindset uh if he, if he was just getting lucky i don't think he would be would still be there like tonka has been crushing it way before streaming i think you know he was a legend before before he started streaming i think i don't think he's just acting like he is funny i think he's just he's just him being himself you know and that's important as well as much as i'm being myself right now maybe i'm not i'm not myself actually i don't talk this much in real life in real life i don't really talk that much so <laughs> that's the only thing that that is not me but all of the, all the other stuff is, is me and i think it's really important to be yourself like if i was sitting here i was really serious and i was like yeah man i'm gonna this and this and I'm gonna raise this before this kind of percent and i was acting like i was i don't know some kind of mathematician or stuff like if, if I, w I, I would be faking it you know i'm not really good at math and i'm not and I'm not scared to, to admit that, you know, I can count, I can freaking count, I know percentages and stuff, but you know, I can, I can freaking, you know, do the high mathematics stuff and stuff like that. And at the same time, if I was sitting here and I was acting crazy and I was laughing and stuff, I'm not that in real life either, you know, I'm a, I'm just a chill guy in real life. I don't talk. And when I talk, I say deep shit and that's me. <laughs> You know, only time I t every time I talk, I say a quote. I speak in quotes. I was in the supermarket and I was buying something and the cashier was like, the total is gonna be 54, 90 something. And I was like, it's not about the total. It's about the feeling you get. And she was like, man, you got some deep shit. I was like, yes, I do. So yeah, man, it's really important to be yourself because you can fake it. For just a short time time is a powerful thing time shows who's real and who's not and always remember that time shows it okay time will show who's real and who's not i'm in the hand here uh i think i'm just calling i don't know why i did this <laughs> i just think i'm calling get him to bed with a i think he has a queen with a weaker kicker and I think I'm going for a value. If he has a pocket sevens, is in his range as well. But I think I'm going for here, for it here. Yeah, pocket sevens. Nice hand, man. Couldn't play it any other way. Eleven big blind shove. I'm gonna call with pocket sevens. We are against ace queen. We're flipping. 
That's a queen. Seven. Let me get a seven. Damn. Big blind with six nine. Limped but I checked. Flopped three of a kind. How do we play it? Check, let them find something on the turn. Probably. Don't think they can really have much here to call us with. If we bet. Flush got there. Six spot. <laughs> One of them has it for sure. Can I fold? They might have a six with a better kicker as well. We blocked it. This is a six spot, but I think I have to fold. That was an amazing fault. Now really it was easy. It was obvious one of them has a flush. But we can do it. The bucket 7s, 11 big blinds left on the final table. We are on the small blind. We're going all in no matter what. Hopefully we're not dominated. Damn, we're dominated. We need a 7. We don't get it though. So we're out in 8th place from the sit angle. Panatas95 says, Kedi some ala discola mesas to Steph, meta ai prepe na maro meton, tela tiavo agua mono i maston kasame. Man, I think so as well. Karlencho, your, your Greek pronunciation is awesome. I know, man. Killing it, my Greek. Freaking killing it. Eiste oloi malakes. Nah, man, eiste olo malakes is something rude. I know that, man. You just say it. You just said, you just said I have a little dick or something like that. I know you, man. Eiste oloi malakes. Malakes is like small. Eiste oloi is like my dick. So I just probably said my dick is small, right? Huh? Are you guys kidding me or what? What the hell is eiste oloi malakes? Rekrut says, man, how many languages do you speak? Let's count it. Czech, Armenian. Russian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Vietnamese, Greek, Estonian, Polish, and I can do a British accent. So mm, technically 10, but basically 11. Record says you really speak Spanish. Spanish is my native language. Don't make me put you to the test. Man, you think I'm scared? That was the cabron puta. Cabron put. El cabron despacito. El puta na colombian. El cabron de puta de folders. Uh, vamos. Made it to the money in the 110 PKO with six big blinds left. <laughs> yep, this is it. King queen against ace 10. What do I need? A 10? He holds a 10 though. That's not great. So we're out of the 110 PKO. Do we limp as well with 10 9 off? I think we can. We flop a 3 of a kind and there is an ace as well. But does this guy limp with an ace? Sometimes. Gotta bet now. Go for value again. Let's say he has an ace or any pair. If he has a, a, has an ace, he played it really weird. Let's go for a value. I think we have the best hand here. Even if he shoves now, I'm calling.
Okay, unless he limped before the flood with bucket aces and trapped us, then I think we're good. Damn sixes. But we got queens though, let me double up, let me get back. Is this real life? And like that guys, two hands and we're out. Uh, that was really unlucky man.